Hey there, YouTube community. This is John Peace again, back here with Berry Natural, uh, Natural Blueberries. And today I'm going to make a short video on how to address pH on your blueberry bush. Okay, let's start by discussing what is pH. pH tells how acidic a solution is, like soil. An acidic soil has more cations like H plus available to react with the soil elements like phosphorus and calcium and iron. The results of these reactions are elements like iron is freed from the soil borne form and made available by, for use by the plant. This is the reaction that's involved when you create hydrogen ions. Carbon dioxide reacts with sulfur, elemental sulfur that we put in the soil, with oxygen that's saturated into the soil and water. Microbes and react on this, these compounds and create H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, and then that's further broken down into CH2O, SO4, and H plus ions. These H plus ions are what makes the soil acidic. Now we're going to talk about how we check for the pH. It's an easy method which is just involves visual observation. Look for the yellowing of leaves and stunted growth, which means your soil pH is too high or even too low. When it's too high or too low, you get the same effects. You get yellowing of leaves and stunted growth. Then you have a complete check that you can do. You do the visual observation as well as a scientific measure, which involves using um, some type of a pH strip or um, a pH um, uh, instrument to evaluate the acidity in the soil. A low pH, for example, three, means there's a greater amount of hydrogen ions in your soil. Which is, which is better for the blueberry plant. A high pH, for example, nine means is less hydrogen ions, which is not good and will cause stunted growth and uh, yellowing of leaves, okay? So we're gonna do the test now. Um, what I have here is my soil solution and I have my pH strip here, okay? My pH strip. I'm going to take my pH strip and I'm going to dip it into the solution. And here you have it. Here you have a pink coloration in the, indicating that my soil is acidic. And if you look at the color chart, you see that it matches up here with a pH of 3 or 4. pH of 3. Right there in the color chart. Okay. So that's what you want to do. You want to do a check like that to make sure that you have um, the correct pH in the soil. And the, the red coloring indicates a pH of 3, like 3.5, which is ideal for blueberry growth. Now, how do we go about correcting soil pH? Well, in cases where the soil needs to be lowered, the pH needs to be lowered, you would use something like urea, which is difficult to obtain, but usually uh, obtained by commercial growers. They're able to get that. Urea is pretty effective. Then you have sulfuric acid, which is also battery acid, but it's dangerous to handle and caustic and, da and dangerous to the skin. It's used by professional horticulturists in special situations, like if they need to lower the pH in a large blueberry um, a patch, then they would use particular specific measures and they'll be able to lower it. Then you have elemental sulfur, which is very effective, commonly used, but it takes several months for it to take effect. You have ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate, like I discussed before, is very effective. It's effective because it has the added benefit of fertilization with it. So you, ammonium provides fertilization and the sulfur provides the sulfur to lower the pH. Approximately one to two tablespoons in a potted plant of two foot wide, let's say six foot deep, uh, would be um, appropriate. Then calcium sulfate is another product that is used effectively with the added benefit of boosting fruit production. It helps the calcium, helps fruit production, and the sulfate lowers the pH. Okay? Approximately one to two tablespoons in a two foot wide pot would be suitable. Now to raise the pH, you would use something like lime, also known as calcium carbonate. Okay? Approximately three to four tablespoons in a two foot wide potted plant would be effective. So to lower the pH, you're going to use these products, such as urea, etc. 
and to raise it you're going to use lime or calcium carbonate. 